to natural resources, land, soil and water. Natural resources are very important for economic development, but the distribution of these resources in the world is highly uneven. Land, soil, water, vegetation, animals are everywhere, while minerals and energy resources are concentrated in few regions only. Land Land is the most important natural resource as human beings live on it. All the living beings find food and shelter on it. We also build our homes on it, construct roads and railway lines, set up industries and do mining on it. The land surface is not uniform. We find a variety of landforms on it. These landforms vary in shape and size. Mountains Mountains are the high altitude region on the surface of the earth. All major continents have some spectacular mountain ranges. These mountains have most useful forests and various types of vegetation. They control the climate. Many high altitude mountains are covered with snow. The snow is the source of a number of perennial rivers. The Rockies and Andes in North and South America respectively and Pyrenees and Alps in Europe are very huge mountain ranges. In Asia, the Himalayas, Kingan and Yoplanovi are the main mountain ranges. In Australia, the Great Dividing Range is the main range while in Africa, the Atlas Mountains in the northwest and Drakensberg in the southeast are the important mountain ranges. Plateaus They are the raised blocks of past land with flat surfaces. Most of the plateaus of the world are rich in minerals and forest resources. Many of the world's high plateaus are either deserts or suitable for cattle grazing. 45% of the earth's surface is covered by plateaus. Some of them are known for plantation. For example, Brazilian plateau is known for coffee plantation. Indian plateaus are rich in mineral resources. Plains Plains are low altitude fertile stretches and are very conducive to habitation. For this reason, the plains of world have the highest density of population. Most of the plains are drained by rivers and they are called the cradles of civilization. This is because our ancient civilizations have developed on the plains in the river valley areas. They provide most favorable conditions for agriculture and human settlement. Some of the important plains in the world are Prairie Plains of North America, Pampas of Argentina, the vast steepy island in Europe and Asia, Nile Valley Plains in Africa, Huang Ho and Yatse Kiang Plains in China and Great Plains of India. India The Indian subcontinent is located in the southern part of Asia and is cut off from the rest of the Asian continent by the mighty Himalayas. They are situated in the northern parts of India and extend from Jammu and Kashmir to Arunachal Pradesh. A large part of Himalayas is under permanent snow. It is the source of many rivers flowing in India. On the basis of their altitude, the Himalayas are divided into Shivalik, the Middle Himalayas and the Greater Himalayas. The Karakuram mountain ranges with the world's second highest mountain peak, Mount Ketu, is located north of the Himalayas. There is a vast stretch of flat surface called the Northern Plains or Great Indian Plains. These plains are founded by the alluvium brought by the rivers flowing from Himalayas. The plains have rich fertile soil and agriculture is highly developed here. They provide a good network of roads and railways and support more than half of Indian population. Trivia UNO declared 2015 was the International Year of Soils. The peninsular part of India is largely covered with plateau. This peninsular plateau is the oldest block of India. It is made up of ingenious or metamorphic rocks. The northern part is called Malwa Plateau and it continues up to Chota Nagpur Plateau in the east. The Deccan Plateau lies in the south of Vindhyas and is bound by the eastern and western ghats. The Deccan Plateau is flanked by narrow coastal plains, the west coastal plain and the east coastal plain. The western part of Rajasthan is the Great Indian Desert. India has two major island groups, 
Andaman and Nicobar Islands in the Bay of Bengal and Lakshadweep Island groups in the Arabian Sea. Trivia The Greater Himalayas or Northern Range average approximately 6,000 meters in height and contain the three highest mountains on Earth. Mount Everest, 8,848 meters, K2, also known as Mount Godwin Austin, 8,611 meters and Kanchanjunga, 8,586 meters.